up, everyone? It is your man on fire mentor, David Mailer. It always is an honor and a privilege to be here with all of you today. And we have a hot topic that we are going to be diving into, which is how long have you, yes, you, been tolerating less than what you want for yourself in your life? For those of you that don't know about Man on Fire, we are a personal development company. We specialize in helping men start to have mastery over their mind and how to grow their masculine leadership in the different domains of their life from relationships to business to mission and purpose. And we are fully committed to supporting, challenging, and holding men accountable to living into their true potential and rising with passion, with power, and with purpose. So without any further ado, let us dive right into today's topic, which is how long have you been tolerating less than what you want for yourself in your life? Now, one of the greatest problems slash addictions that a man has is he has fallen into the hypnotic state of complacency. He has fallen into the hypnotic state, meaning he's not even aware because it sneaks up on us so quietly and it's happening for years and years and years and years until we discover it that we are living way below the standard of who God made us to be and who we truly are relative to fulfilling our potential. And what happens to a man is that he will fall into this state of complacency, blandness, neutrality. Everything is good. Everything is fair. Everything is okay. Everything is average. And the problem with that is that we've become okay with that. We've actually become okay with just having a good relationship or doing okay with our finances or just getting by or being okay or just having a fair relationship to our mission and purpose. And each and every one of you that's listening right now, please know, because I know this, please know that you, myself, everyone you know, was likely born for so much more than how we're showing up in the world. And I don't say this to be derogatory. I don't say this to make anybody feel badly about themselves. I say this to remind you that we are born and built for more. We as children were able to dream. We knew what was possible before adults and the world and the culture and the teachers and people laughed and people said that's not possible. Just like it's not possible to go to the moon. It's not possible to make billions of dollars. I mean, people are going to shoot down our dreams. And little by little by little, this childlike purity, this playful spirit where you once dreamed in life of having it all, but from a pure place, right? Not to get away from not being good enough, but from a pure place of remembering who you are, right? Remembrance from that place. And then little by little, the world held us down and people squashed our dreams and we started to fall into a life of complacency where our life became okay and good and average. And you know, you ask somebody, how are you doing good? How are you doing good? How are the wife and kids? Good. How's the job going? Good. And we weren't born for good. We were born for extraordinary. We were born for phenomenal. We were born for outstanding. And many of us, and this was me up until around age 40, 41, 42, many of us forgot. We forgot that we were born to be another star in the sky that shines its light. And we're here in the Man on Fire Brotherhood. We're here in the Man on Fire world. We're here as a community to polish one another to wake each other up to the remembrance of who we truly are, to come back to our light, like a lost ship at sea. Without the lighthouse, the ship has no chance of making it back to shore. And in our, in our brotherhood, 
we take a fierce stand through something that's very powerful, which we call love. We take a fierce stand through the act of love, loving thy neighbor, loving thy brother, loving him home to the remembrance of who he truly is, who he was born to be. I mean, in today's world, you guys know this, it's so easy to cut each other down. It's so easy to point fingers and name and blame and shame and judge and project. And we do this as an act of survival because we don't like where we're at in our own life. But it takes a true champion, it takes a true man, it takes a masculine leader, the mature masculine, to help a brother rise. To help him rise with more passion and more power and more purpose in his life. So he can experience personal growth and he can fulfill his contract with his creator, the sole contract that you signed on for. So the question is, how long have you tolerated showing up as less than who you truly are? How long have you been toler tolerating less than what you want for yourself and in what areas of your life, right? It's amazing to me how long we can go before we address something that we know needs to be addressed in our life. It's amazing to me to witness how long we will go without confronting what we know we need to confront. Now, I don't mean being confrontational. I mean facing what we need to face, what we put behind us. Maybe you don't wanna face where things are at in the marriage. You don't wanna face the relationship you have with a brother or sister or one of your relatives or your father or your mother. You don't wanna face where you're at with your finances. You don't wanna confront it. You don't wanna face that you're off purpose out of integrity with your soul. So how long have you been tolerating having less than what you want? And that would require your capacity to face this. Now, one of the great mentors and teachers out there, Mr. Tony Robbins, he shares that in life, we get what we're willing to tolerate. So people complain about their life, but then you have to be honest that, and realize you're getting exactly what you've been willing to tolerate. So that's why I asked this question, how long have you tolerated less than what you truly want? Now we might think, oh, but I deserve to have more, but yes, are you willing to do the work to get there? Are you willing to roll up those sleeves and get down in the dirt and actually go for the life that was designed by your soul? the contract you had with your creator. But for most of us, and this was again, this was me into my early 40s, we fall into the hypnotic state of downsizing. We convince ourselves and convince others that we got a good life. This was me up until my early 40s, right? Making quarter million dollars. And I don't say that to brag and, and nor do I think that's a lot of money at this stage of my life. I, I think I was selling myself short and all the people that I love short and all the people that I could help short because making money is not challenging for a man unless he's fallen into the hypnotic state of wanting to just have a good or a fair or an okay life. We're all capable of generating. And I'm not suggesting that money makes you happy, so please understand that's not what I'm saying here. I'm saying I got what I was willing to tolerate. And because I made more money than most people I hung out with, somehow I fooled myself into thinking that it was good. And it was good. But... I was in the hypnotic state of forgetting that I wasn't born for good. I was born for extraordinary and so are you. I was born for phenomenal and so are you. So the question is how long have you tolerated less? And part of that problem is that we've become so good at just having an okay or a good life. In fact, we're so afraid to confront the things that we know we need to change that some of us will take it to the grave. I remember in my uh, wife's building, I met a gentleman who had literally had a hole in his nose. And my wife shared with me, yeah, he had cancer from smoking and he has a hole in his nose. And wouldn't you know that the guy was still smoking? Now, why is that, right? We, we could write down a million reasons, feel free to type them in. But if you really look at it very simply, it's very challenging for people to confront in their life what they know they need to confront. And if he's willing to tolerate not having his health and having a hole in his nose and allowing his lungs to be congested and eventually take his life from cancer, sadly, that's what most of us will get because we fall into that hypnotic state of everything's just okay. I don't, I don't really need more. It's not about needing more. It's about what are you capable of? It's about what is your standard? 
It's about up-leveling your standard and waking up from this comatic state, which is what we do in our Man on Fire brotherhood. We love each other, home to the remembrance of who we truly are, and we won't tolerate a man playing small and contracting. We won't tolerate you trying to hide or convince us that you can't have more in your life. We were all born for personal growth. We're all here to up-level our consciousness. We are all here to have an extraordinary and phenomenal life. We're all here for those very purposes, to rise into our masculine leadership so that in the different domains of our life, whether it be business, mission and purpose, our finances, and really importantly, our marriage, treating our wives as sacred, sacred, a sacred being. I call my wife my queen. That's the term I use because she's sacred to me. And I treat her with reverence and sacredness. How many of you men listening right now could honestly say that that's how you treat her? I mean, some of you probably had a daughter and you see her as the most sacred being in the world and I'll do everything I can to protect her heart, everything. I won't let anyone, anyone hurt her. But yet, are you modeling that? Are you modeling that in your marriage? Did you model that with your ex-wife? Are you modeling that in your current relationship? Or are you living below the standard of who God made you to be? Ouch for some of you, right? Ouch, that was me for a long time, ouch. So it takes a community sometimes, it takes a brotherhood sometimes to hold one another accountable. As we all know, iron sharpens iron and men rise with challenge. And we're here to challenge each other. Show me the real you. Show me the real you is what it's all about in the man on fire world. Are you willing to show the real you to the world? Because how long have you been tolerating less than what you truly want. And I wanted you to have an understanding of how this happens. It happens when we fall into this hypnotic state and then we convince ourselves and we convince others either that what I have is good, I'm happy, or we're somehow reprogramming repro a story inside of us where we're constantly telling ourselves we're not good enough, we don't deserve to have more, and we either fall into victimhood or we rise our energy a little bit, we fall more into anger and frustration where we name, blame, shame, judge, project and think it's somebody else's fault outside of yourself, whether you think it's the woman's fault, your partner's fault, the government's fault, the economy's fault, your stockbroker's fault, the lawyer's fault, somebody else's fault. So we, we fall into this victimhood or blame game and or we convince ourselves that, well, that, that's not really for me. You know, those weren't really the cards that I was dealt in life. I'm not really meant to have an extraordinary life. Guys, let me remind you, stop kidding and lying to yourself. Yes, you were. You were born to rise into your true potential. The acorn is not designed to say the acorn. It's designed to become the oak tree. We all have that seed. We all have that potentiality inside of us to grow into who we came here to be and who we signed on to be with our creator, with God. For you to have seen it through a different lens, through a different light, you've been lying to yourself or people have been lying to you and it's been reinforced and I'm here to wake you up. To remind you, you are phenomenal. You, yes you, are extraordinary. And I forgot, so I know I'm, I'm talking to an older version of myself. I would have tried to sell myself and sell the world that I got it good, my life is good, everything's, yeah, no, everything's not good. You know the one thing that will never lie to you? Well, two, really, or three. One thing is the mirror. The mirror. Oh, the mirror. It never lies. It's how you can go from a fraud to a leader because the mirror will give you the reflection of where you're really at. Another thing, God won't lie to you. He'll tell you where things are at. And your relationships, your intimate relationships will always reveal where you're at. And in the man on fire world, We'll be honest with you as well. We'll give you the truth serum that your soul deserves. Because to placate, to downsize, to pat on the back, to try to maintain friendships in our community doesn't exist. We're going to give it to you straight and it's going to be straight from the heart. Because that's what the soul requires. Give it to me straight. So how long have you tolerated less than and what you truly want, and in which areas of your life. So wherever you're following me right now, please put it in the comments. Smash up that like key. Throw me some fire signs. Let's get the 
algorithms on these different platforms buzzing so other men can hear this. Other men can start to grow. We can start to support each other, help each other rise with that passion, with that power and purpose for who we were born to be. Why? And why? Why do we want this? Why do we want this? Is it so we can finally be enough? No. It's so we can be of greater service to others, right? You up level yourself. You truly learn to love yourself. You truly grow, up level your frequency, your vibration, your consciousness. You expand yourself. You become that lighthouse. Do you realize how many people's lives you can impact by you showing up as the real you? Your light can illuminate the path for others who have lost their way, starting with your immediate family. And so it's up to us as men to come home into the portal of remembrance of who we truly are and help wake other people up. Why? Because everyone's here to be that polished star. We're all here to live into our light. And so many of us have forgotten. So many of us have become dim or the lights are off completely. So what areas of your life have you tolerated showing up as less than who you know you were born to be? Type it below. Is it your relationships, your marriage? Is it your relationship with your father or mother or brother? How long have you been tolerating less than what you want for yourself in your life and in what areas? Be honest. Be honest. Is it your marriage? Is it your career, your finances, your mission and purpose? Is it your health? What is it? And for how long has that been going on? And what will it take what will it take for you to say the magical word, enough? See what happens because I've coached over 10,000 men? What happens is that most men will start to build some form of frustration where they're getting pissed at themselves. And just when they're about to say enough, they drop energy state and they go back to lower than frustration and they go all the way back to blaming or they go even further down the rabbit hole back into victimhood, depressed, anxious, I'm not good enough. And so what's missing for a lot of men in today's world is that we are lacking our full emotional range because emotion is our leverage. It's our leverage to make change. And so many of us were taught to silence those emotions. Oh, men don't cry. Don't act like that. Don't yell. Contain it all. Stuff it all down. So later in life, why? It can become the heart attack, the cancer, the disease. No, you, being with your emotions in a mature way is different than in an immature way. So I'm not suggesting you go and yell at people. But without your emotions, you're stuck in your head. We all know you're in your head. You're dead. We all know analysis, paralysis. And as long as you get to keep it as thoughts, you're not going to make change. You're not going to grow because the fundamental purpose behind thoughts is to keep you from growing, keep you from changing, keep you from making progress in life. So we need that emotional range. We need that emotional leverage. So the reason we tolerate this is because we've lowered our standard, we've disconnected from our emotions, and we've lost support structures. No one's challenging me. No one's pushing me, stretching me, helping me get uncomfortable because... That is where my growth will begin. At the end of my comfort zone is where my growth begins. And too many of us today want to be comfortable. What is that about? That's a form of hiding. Comfort equals death or slow death. I mean, guys, right now who are listening to me, please know that the woman that you married married you for your potential. Will you have the courage to show her your true potential? Or are you vegging out on the couch? Are you playing video games all the time? Are you surfing the internet all the time? Are you watching porn all the time? Are you at massage parlors, strip clubs, gambling? Where is your time and attention going? Are you overworking and hiding at work because you don't feel successful because you've tolerated less than what you know you truly want? In the man on fire world, you'd never get away with that. Never. From our bottom tier coaching program called Firestarter, right through to Ignited and Ignited Accelerated where you come to one of our live four-day retreats. We call them an immersion. It's a men's retreat where we wake your ass up to who you truly are, wake you up to the fire inside of you. In fact, we're starting one tomorrow at noon. We're sold out, but there'll be more. 
for those of you that want to learn about that, these events and you want to see if you qualify to speak to one of our coaches, to explore one of our coaching programs, go to manonfirerising.com, manonfirerising.com. And there will be a link that says apply for a discovery call. And based on how you fill out the application, we will determine whether or not one of our coaches can speak to you because you need to be genuine and sincere that you're no longer no longer willing to tolerate playing small and showing up as less than who you are. You need to be clear that you're in a space where you have the time, the energy, and the financial resources that you're ready to invest in yourself. Because yes, we have coaching programs that require a financial investment in yourself. Are you one of those people that's ready for that? So if you do apply, please take the application process seriously. We read all of the applications, and there's a reason that some get approved and some get denied. And yes, financial consideration is a part of how we come to our determination. And for those of you where it's not the right time, we're always here to support you on the different social platforms where I'm showing up for free. So one more time, guys, type below. What have you been tolerating in your life that you know you truly want, but you've been tolerating playing small and showing up as less than who you are? How long have you been doing this? How long have you been tolerating less than what you know you want for yourself? And what do you think your why is? Why do you think you've done that? I'm curious. Type it below. Let me learn from your responses. Why do you think you've done that? What's inside of your head? What's the story that you've sold yourself on? Is it, well, I don't have the money. If I had more money, then I, I would make these changes. Is it that, uh, you know, I got dealt a bad deck of cards or God's punishing me or it's just not meant for me to thrive and have an extraordinary life? Like what, what is the story that keeps playing in your head that either has you playing small and you're all the way down to victimhood or maybe you're still in the blame part or maybe you're at the place where you've become even worse addicted to that life of neutrality, that life of complacency, that life of unique, bland, ordinary, fair, good. And as I've been sharing, none of you were born for that. You were born to have a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal and extraordinary life. Please remember that, guys. You all deserve that. But, but, the big but, no one's going to hand it to you. The question is, are you ready to raise your standard? Are you ready to do the work? Are you ready to up level? Are you ready to challenge yourself and be challenged? Are you truly ready to grow? That is what man on fire is all about. We are a personal development company helping you up level and grow in every domain of your life. We're here to bring out the masculine leader inside of you and bring that into your marriage. Bring that into your relationships, especially with your children. Bring that into your career. Bring that into your mission and purpose. And of course, bring that into your health your health, because without vitality, none of this matters. So we are here to support you guys in rising with more passion, more power, and more purpose, and live into your true potential. It's always an honor, it's always a privilege to be sharing time with you guys. For those of you that really know you're ready for a change, you're done tolerating showing up less than who God made you to be, make sure you go to manonfirerising.com Scroll around, learn a little bit more about us, and when you're ready, click on the link that says apply for a discovery call, and we'll see if you're eligible to speak to one of our coaches, and perhaps I'll see you in one of our coaching programs. So much love to you guys. It's your man on fire, mentor David Mailer. Have a blessed night. Be kind and compassionate, and have empathy for yourself and for those in your life. So much love, guys. Talk to you soon.